Mm. Hi friends, it's Kat from Friends Test Kitchen. I'm flying solo today. I am making a special birthday cake for my husband. His request is that he wanted the best carrot cake he's ever had. Chrissy Teigen referenced carrot cake in her social media a couple years back, and I did a little dig and a little research, and I found that it was a Southern Living recipe that she was referencing to. I looked it up, there's a lot of extra few steps to it. The star of it is that they make a special buttermilk glaze that you put on top of the cake, and you let it soak it up. So let's start mixing. Okay, so first we're gonna get started on the dry ingredients, and I've already pre-mixed it. It is basically two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna mix that up and set it aside and get started on our wet ingredients. All right, so the wet ingredients are going to start off with two cups of sugar, three eggs, three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil, three quarters of a cup of buttermilk, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So we're gonna start and mix all of that up together. Okay, so the white ingredient is all mixed and ready to go. We're gonna start folding in our flour mixture. Two cups of grated carrot, a cup of crushed pineapple, coconut flakes. The recipe doesn't really call for raisins, but I love raisins in my carrot cake, and I know my husband does too, so there is nothing bad about that. This recipe does call for chopped up nuts, but because two of my children are allergic, we're gonna omit it. My husband loves nuts, but he loves his kids more. So we're gonna go ahead and separate this into two different pans, which I've already sprayed and lined with parchment paper. So we're gonna do two layers so that we have that nice, pretty effect when we put the cream cheese frosting in the middle. Okay, so the cakes here are all ready to go in the oven. We're gonna stick it in there for 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how long it needs. But in the meantime, we're gonna get started on making our glaze. Okay, so now to start the glaze, we're going to need a cup of sugar, a half a cup of buttermilk, some baking soda, a stick of unsalted butter, and a tablespoon of light corn syrup. We've had it over the fire now for four minutes and you can see that it's turning into this beautiful golden color and getting really thick. We're gonna go ahead and turn that fire off. We're gonna do the last step and we're going to add in our vanilla extract. You wanna do it when it's still warm. I'm gonna brush that on. Okay, so the cake is chilling on the stove with the buttercream glaze on it, soaking up all that yummy goodness, and we're gonna get started on our cream cheese frosting. So the first thing we need is a lot of cream cheese, some unsalted butter, and then we are going to whip these together for a minute. Okay, so that is nice and blended. I have three cups of powdered sugar here and we need to sift it in first. Wearing black while doing this was probably not the best decision I've made today. All right, so I just added a little bit more vanilla extract in there and then we're going to mix this all together. I hope this isn't a big mess. Okay, so everything is ready to go. My cakes have cooled down and my frosting is ready and we're gonna start icing. All right, there you have it guys. I decorated it to the best of my ability, which isn't that much. I know that this is going to be a big winner. I mean, Chrissy Teigen, she puts all these recipes that she finds or creates on her Instagram. And um, I know she really raved about this. And in fact, I think just a couple weeks ago, she used the same recipe to create a carrot cake trifle and it looked amazing. So maybe that's something that I'll have to try next time, but wish me luck. Hopefully my husband likes it. So I'll be back and I'll let you guys know if this is a five. All right guys, it is the day after the birthday. It was a success. My husband said he loved the cake. 
out of one out of five he says it was a five now I'm gonna assume that he padded that because he loved me and didn't want to hurt my feelings out of five I give this cake a four and a half not a perfect five and let me tell you why I'm super moist super delicious but it was missing some of that warmthness that I'm usually, you know, looking for. It only had cinnamon in the recipe, but it didn't have clove or nutmeg or maybe even a little ginger just to warm it up. And I really do like that um, in my carrot cake. So maybe next time when I make this, I'll tweak it a little and add those spices to it. But I thought it was delicious. I served this cake about four hours after I made it. And I just had another bite of it 24 hours later and I like it better. I think that letting it set overnight really brought everything together. And that glaze that we made really set into the cake. And it just felt like it was just too moist for me last night but trying it today, it's perfect. So my suggestion is go ahead and make this cake. Um, I'm gonna link the recipe below from Southern Living. And thanks to Chrissy Teigen for this great recommendation. It was a big hit. So come back next week and Gina joins me and we make another fun recipe with you guys that we found online. So can't wait to eat more with you guys.